guys welcome back to my channel so I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in ages like so 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 long it's probably been honestly swear it's been about three weeks it's been ages um, May was so busy for me but I just had the best time it was my birthday I turned 21 in May my best friend's birthday was probably a little bit over two weeks a little bit over a week sorry yeah, a little bit over a week before mine so it was just so jam-packed with just partying and having fun and seriously I wouldn't have replaced my month of May for anything it was just so much fun I feel like I'm in a better mind space now and I feel like I'm just a bit more positive with everything I don't know what happened to me in May but I'm just so much more happy now so I do have quite a few little things to show you guys so let's get ahead and get started <laughs> So I guess we can start off with primer. This primer, I don't know if I've talked to you guys about it. I feel like I have, but I honestly can't remember for the life of me. Um, but this is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pure Primer. This is so nice. It's so good. I love it so much. It's really, really soft, but it's very, very silicone-y. So it really gets in there and fills in your pores. Um, if you don't want that and you just want something to smooth out your skin or just give yourself a good base, this also does that. Um, I do think that it's silicon based. I'm not too sure if it is or if it's not, but that's what it feels like. So if you do have allergies to silicon and stuff, then I'll stay away from this. But if you're not, try it out. Seriously, go to the Too Faced stand, put some on your hand. Seriously, it feels like you're touching a cloud. I love it so much. Oh, I love it so much. It's so, so good. I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. Foundation, this is what got me through my month of partying, I guess you would say. This is the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer. I have mine in the shade 08 Honey or Eight honey to be fair I don't use the concealer but I've been loving the foundation it's just amazing if you fake tan I think that this shade would be a good one for you obviously go to the store and get it checked out but this one is the one that I love to use for my fake tan and yeah I absolutely adore it and it gives the most beautiful finish on the skin as well for face powder I've rediscovered my Mac studio fix press powder or foundation powder whatever you want to call it I bought this a really, really long time ago and it's always a handbag staple for me. Always, always, always because the color's great, there's a puff inside and there's a mirror so it lives in my handbag. But recently I emptied out my handbag and it's been living on my table and I've been using it a lot as my foundation in the mornings actually and as a motorbike passing my house. But yeah, I've been using this a lot as foundation or my foundation replacement. Um, for days that I don't want to have too much on my face, but I do want my face to match my neck, I use this. I use the shade NC30. I do want to get a few more shades just for when I'm darker, like now, or if I get lighter, I want to get a few more shades. But yeah, this is a really, really nice powder. It's really finely milled as well, and it's just a really, really nice powder overall. I don't think that's good for like mattifying the skin, but if you do want a powder to give you coverage, that is a good one. Or just to set your makeup, it's a good one as well. So my next favorite has been an Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light. I also have the shade Ethereal Light, which I absolutely adore, but I haven't been using it as much as I've been using this one. This is what the color of it looks like here, and it is a very, very sheer, Product. I'm not going to lie, it's very, very sheer, but it does what I want for it to do. Um, if you don't really know too much about ambient lighting powders, ambient lighting powders are finishing powders, so they're not used for setting, they're not used for blotting, they're used to finish off your makeup, to kind of give your skin a more finished appearance if that makes sense. So this one in particular, Dim Light, I love for the fact that it kind of blurs my pores a little bit like the powder doesn't fill in the pores but it kind of like detracts away from my pores if that makes any sense at all um, if I brush it over it will kind of look like my face has been airbrushed and hit by dim light if that makes sense um, yeah I've been loving using this one all over my face it's really really gorgeous you don't need a lot of product so it will last you a long time even though they are quite pricey you do get a decent amount of product and that's why I don't mind spending the money on things like this sorry about that guys my camera cut out as soon as I finished talking about the last product 
But anyway, moving on. So the next two products, I feel like I'm the last person to do this combo, but this is the NARS Eater Brush with the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I've had both the NARS Eater and the NARS Laguna Brush. Wait, hold on. I've had the Eater Brush and the NARS Laguna Bronzer in my collection for quite some time, but I've never thought to actually use them together. I've used them together and I actually really quite like it. I don't think the NARS Eater Brush is worth the money. Um, I do think there are cheaper alternatives on the market, but it is a nice one if you can't find the cheaper ones. And then the NARS Laguna Bronzer, I've actually really been liking for contouring. I never used to use it for that. I used to use it for bronzing. I never liked the tone, but recently I've been digging it. And then I feel like I'm late on the bandwagon with this one as well. And it's not even that I was late buying it. Like, I've owned this for maybe a good year now. Um, this is the NARS Albatross Highlighter. This, oh my goodness, if you are going out like partying or clubbing or anything like that, this is an amazing, intense highlighter. I love this so, so much. It's just the most beautiful white with gold sheen. It's not a white gold sheen. It's definitely a looks white but then it's got a golden sheen to it i absolutely adore it it's so so gorgeous and if i haven't told you what it is it's nars albatross <laughs> seriously like it just makes your skin look so much more healthy i love it so much for mascara i've been loving 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 the l'oreal miss manga mascara I obviously use the black shade. I think they've got like a turquoise and a purple shade, which I wanted to buy, but I was like, Laura, realistically, you are never going to use those. So I didn't pick those up, but I love this so, so much. That's what the one looks like. And I love it because it's a fiber bristle brush. So it gets my lower lashes and my upper lashes really, really well. I feel like fiber bristles instead of the plastic bristle mascara ones always get my eyelashes better and they always coat them through a little bit nicer. And then two lip products, I've been digging the dark lip. Um, MAC Rebel, I have a swatch video of my MAC lipstick, so I'll link that down below. But this is absolutely divine. I love it so, so much. It's not too dark, but it's not too, like it's a nice mid-toned berry wine color. It's so, so pretty. And this piece of hair is seriously pissing me off. And then lucky, lucky last beauty product or beauty favorite is the Australis Velour Lips. This is a little bit darker than Rebel, but it's so, so pretty. Um, this is in the shade Budapest or Budapest? Budapest. It's so, so pretty. I will do a look using this soon and I will upload it because seriously, it is so, so beautiful. I love it so much. These are so pigmented. I would swatch it, but I currently have fake tan developing. That's why it kind of looks a bit iffy. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to swatch it on my hand and then wash it off and then there's like a white stripe. <laughs> and I just want to talk about my favorite emoji. Seriously, it's this one here. I love it so much. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite emoji ever of all time. I'm obsessed with emojis. Follow me on Snapchat. I'll link my Snapchat down below. Um, I love emojis so much. And also, I've been loving Snapchat. Snapchat has been like my favorite, like on my birthday, my Snapchat was probably at like eight minutes. I was like snapping everything. So if you want to follow me on there, I'll link it down below. But anyway, guys, so that's all my favorites that I have to share with you for the month. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you very shortly. Bye.